Hey, so this week I decided that since I get a whole lot of questions about the beeswax process that I use on my painting, that today I'm going to show you a painting that is pretty much already finished except for a few details and just concentrate on the beeswax process and show you guys a little bit more detail about how that's done, okay? So, here's the finished painting once I got all the final details put in. So let me tell you a little bit about each area because each area is going to be different in the way that it reacts to the beeswax. So the hearts up here in the tree are made from Logan's hearts that she did on her paper from school. And the paper from school is what first graders use and it's a very thin paper and it actually has writing on the back side of it and she painted on the other side but there is a very good chance that when the beeswax is put on the hearts that the writing will show through onto the other side. Now for the tree here I used an old map. Now these hearts are also made out of the school paper and the big heart too that she has and this little flower down here and they're overlapping in places so that will probably show up when we put the beeswax on too and then of course her wings here are from the old 1925 White House cookbook I love to use this cookbook because the pages are all brown and very very old and they just do really cool things with the beeswax you never know what the different reactions will be after a while when you use it a lot you get a pretty good idea and um, but just to be on the safe side I'm going to scan the painting right now on the scanner so if it totally messes it up um, at least I'll have a copy so this is what I used for the wax to heat it up in it is um, a thing that they use I guess it's and all uh, when they do waxing and it takes a few minutes to heat it up I keep it at a level of about six and I read that beeswax melts at about 144 degrees so um, it's hot but not too terribly hot and this is a special paper it's a multimedia paper it's very thick it's almost like a thin cardboard and it's good because it supports the wax um, more than just a regular paper would and also something else I want to talk about is that everything on the paper here is watercolor or acrylic on paper and I don't use the golden gel on top of any of the collage pieces because beeswax and acrylic do not normally get along and can cause you some real havoc so when I collage the pieces I only use the golden gel on the bottom of the pieces and not actually on the top so that way my beeswax can absorb into the paper pieces and give it more to hold on to so the beeswax is pretty much melted now and I just use an old brush with it and constantly use the same old brush because it will once you use your brush in there there's no getting it back so it's once a beeswax brush always a beeswax brush so I'm going to just take the brush now and start painting directly onto the painting with the beeswax it naturally darkens it in places and it's darkening the map as you can see now we're going to take it over some of the note the child's paper that Logan painted on so you can see what happens with that see the lines are starting to come through on this heart that was solid lines from the paper showing. Let's do a few more. So 
that gives it kind of a cool effect. Then I'm going to take it over her face and it darkens it. And then you can really see it on this old paper here. This is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like after. So this is the big heart that the fairy is holding made out of the notebook paper and we're going to start going over it and it's going to darken it and then the original lines are going to start showing through it as well as some of the text that was written behind on the other side of the piece of paper so it gives it kind of a cool effect now when the beeswax goes on it goes on clear and then as it starts to cool it starts to get white in places but don't panic because as it continues to cool it will totally go away and you can see through it now the beeswax that I use is just a regular beeswax nothing special not anything even from the uh, art supply store I use some from Michaels and it's in their soap making and candle making aisle and I found that it works the best and adheres the best and so I haven't changed it I'm kind of a little afraid to change something if it's working so well so as you can see here on the wings a little bit of the white coming through as it's drying you can see and it will go away soon so I finished putting on all the beeswax and it's all dry and at this stage you could just leave it like it is and let it go but of course I have to play with the fire a little bit more and there are some raised edges that I'm not real happy with from the brush so I'm going to take an iron and iron those out now the iron that I use is just a black and decker travel iron I picked up at a garage sale and I've used a regular iron too it worked fine it was just heavy to handle so I'm going to set the temperature of the iron here to a low setting um, it says wool and it's set so there is no steam coming out and I'm going to let that heat up and then I'm going to iron directly onto the painting alright so the iron is all heated up and now I'm just going to start ironing directly onto the painting so as I iron everything here what happens is it gets the wax much hotter than what it was when I applied it with the brush and really starts to penetrate the papers and causes even more color changes and different things going on with them so that's another reason why I use the iron so now that all the wax has been ironed you can see where it's done even more changes even more dramatic than when you first applied it with the brush and this heart you can see the lines are coming through from the notebook paper and the mat got even further different colorations going on where the wax seeped under the paper and caused it to darken in areas and it was a really nice effect so overall I'm really happy with the way it turned out which is a very good thing since I was concentrating so much on the video camera that I actually forgot to scan the painting before I put the wax on so but it turned out really good